Well, hey, we've got another unboxing this morning. So I got these aqua gloves at Lowe's. I've always wondered if they would help. And I've got some of my plants outside. My Well, some of them. All my plants are outside. <laughs> I don't keep any in the house except for the orchids. And it gets particularly hot with this, the morning sun in the summers because it comes directly from the east and it kind of broils those plants. So the aqua globes are made of glass. I'm sure you've probably seen them on TV. And you're supposed to be able to fill them with water and then stick them down into the soil. And when the plant needs water, it kind of sucks it out. So uh, I'll remove the labels here. Hopefully I can do this without breaking the down the thing. How to use aqua globes. Use a small stick or tool to make a hole in the soil. Be sure that the diameter of the hole you make in the soil is less than the diameter of the bulb's shaft. This will help prevent the bulb from tipping. Okay, so it says don't put it in the soil without first making that hole because this is delicate and it could break. Mmm, a thick glove should be worn when inserting the bulb. Oh boy. Fill the bulb with water. You know, I've seen a thing where you can get something goes on uh, a two liter bottle and you turn it over and that keeps things watered, but this was $9.99. I'll give it a whirl. Okay, so, um, okay, it tells how to fill it. And it tells about pushing it in carefully. And um, it says, as soil becomes dry, it releases oxygen into the bulb, which in turn releases the exact amount of water your plant needs. Okay, smaller plants may only need one bulb. Larger plants may require more than one. Okay, once your bulb is empty, remove from soil and repeat steps above. Alrighty. Why couldn't they have made this out of something that's not breakable? Well, I don't know. But since I've got the label off, I guess I'll go fill it up. You know, another idea I have is they could they have made it so that it has, I mean, I know it wouldn't have looked like a globe, but could they have made it so that after you fill it, you could sort of, you know, well, sit it down. Okay, so my first task is not to whack it against something in the sink, right? Well, I have a feeling that this is not something that I should be using, but... I've always wanted to try one, and they're so pretty. Of course, theoretically, you're not even gonna be able to hardly see it, because it'll be covered by leaves and stuff. But, oh, I don't know. You know, why not? Why not? All right. So has anyone ever used these? They certainly seem to sell enough of them. Of course, I do realize that in this day and age, it's possible to sell a lot of something just simply based on advertising, stuff like that. Okay, so it looks like I've got it all full. Okay, I need to go out and make a hole. 
they should have provided a stick with it. You know, I know what would make a good hole. And why didn't I find this, get this out before I filled it up? Oh boy. Okay, somewhere I've got chopsticks. And it seems like that would be good, doesn't it? Oh, or wait. What? No, the straw won't make a, a good enough hole. I mean, you know, it'll... Wait, I know where I can sit this. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. I've done this before with hummingbird feeders. I'm gonna just set it in the sink. I'll find those chopsticks and be back. Okay, so Grayson, I'll be back in a minute. You wait here. All right, this is pretty fresh soil. And I potted these plants maybe a couple weeks ago. So I'm gonna try to do it with a pipe cleaner. So it says to do it at an angle. Okay, so I have this that I had pruned off of another plant. Okay, I'm going to leave that in there so that I don't forget where it's located. All right. So here we go. I'll be right back, Grayson. Okay, here I am carrying the thing, trying the one hand, the phone in the other hand. Alright. How can I show this? Dear, I'm not wearing heavy gloves. All right, so it's in there. We'll see what happens. So I've got another hibiscus. I'll put one in there. I just have one more to do. Okay, hang on. Okay. So I'll take this one outside now. Yesterday I got a mandeville, planted it in this pot. So I realized that for the size of plants, that I put that in. Those plums are not very big, but what I'm hoping is that it will keep some water in the plants rather than allowing them to just totally dry up and get big. So we'll see. It's an experiment, something new. Who knows? Notice the person in the picture does not have gloves on.
So I realized that the concept behind these water globes is that when the soil starts to dry out, instead of having water in between the spaces in the soil. Grayson, hush puppy. <laughs> it's got air. So then, oh, well, I thought I realized the concept. Hmm. Oh, okay. So because it's tilted, I guess air can go up, bubbles of air can go up into the water and water can come down. Well, I'm not really sure, but I do understand that if it's a larger plant, actually like the ones that I'm uh, using the aqua globes in, that probably two would be better in order to release water around the roots of the plant. Well, look, if you know how this thing works, <laughs> maybe you can put it in the comments for me and all the rest of us. But it remains to be seen how it's going to work, if it's going to work. Um, you know, maybe it'll be a helpful thing. And if you know about the things you use with the two liter bottles, let me know. Of course, I would think those would lend themselves more to being used in a garden, you know, that's in the ground rather than in pots where you wouldn't notice the two liter bottles quite as much because they could be hidden by other foliage. But anyway, it's kind of fun to try these new things. And, um, you know, for 10 bucks, it's okay. If they don't work, well, hey, if worse comes to worse, I'll return them to Lowe's. Oh, good grief. I'm just sitting here drinking coffee, thinking about the aqua globes, and I thought, what if it starts growing algae or, I don't know, mold or something or mildew inside? and it, you know, turns all foggy or black or unattractive. <sighs> well, we'll see. Right, Grayson? <laughs> <laughs>